and uh, it's uh, what today's day? Today's Thursday, February twenty eighth. Eighth, eighth, seventh. It's funny you forget the dates. Anyway, <laughs> so today, uh, how did it go? What'd you do today? I worked out. Mm -hmm. I meditated. What'd you meditate? How's that going? I meditated on. What was the topic today? Yesterday was happiness. Today was. Sadness. No, no. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think it was it. Uh, oh, um, stress. I tried to meditate once. It was on stress, and it was good. It was only 12 minutes. Yeah. And it was great. I think I had to try meditation. Could you do it with me in the morning? And not be silly about it, because last time I was silly about it, and it just made me have to fart. Like, I was just like... <laughs> Well, you know, if you get your 12-year-old mentality out of it, that would be wonderful. Well, it's hard because, you know, I'm a male and, like, we, we are responsible and we have, like, male things that we're responsible about. But then it's like you think, start thinking about things and your 12-year-old male brain comes out, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can relate to that. You're not, a, you're not a male. You're a female. You're not a male. Yeah. <laughs> so. Anyways, but it was good. And I did that. And so then, you meditated. You worked out. Yeah. And then I cleaned a little bit. And then I went out to the stores just to get some fresh air and talk to you half the day, basically. How was the traffic? Because that's one thing that I just can't get over. Ever since I moved out here to uh, Niles, it's like the traffic. Like, people just don't know how to drive around. Well, people don't know how to drive, but you can't let it get to you. It's just people don't know how to drive. You can't let it affect the I know, way that but you it's drive. like I got somewhere to be. I got things to do. I'm like, I just want to get to where I got to go. Well, so do they. I don't think they don't have a place to do be. Do they, though? Do people really want to get to where they got to go? Well, maybe they're being extra cautious. Maybe they just, maybe they can't see. Maybe they can't. They can't. Or maybe, maybe they can't drive. Well, that's very possible. <laughs> But I mean, other factors. Maybe they can't see, like or maybe today. they can't, or maybe they don't feel good, or maybe they had a really stressful day, well, or maybe they're sad about something. I mean, but like, shouldn't that not affect or their car? Doesn't work. Your hard. driving, I mean, skills of driving. Okay, so you had a shitty day, but your skills shouldn't diminish because you had a shitty day, or you had, or I don't know, you're in a bad mood, and that sounds okay. You're fine. Like you but what about, like, if your car is not that great? What if it's, maybe it looks nice, but it doesn't run well? Hmm. Then what do you do? I guess that's a solid excuse. And not an excuse, it's a solid reason. But what if people are genuinely, like, you know, there's people I mean, that are genu generally, generally shitty drivers. Like, well, I mean. I can't drive my seat. Well, that's, Sorry about that. I mean. <laughs> It's, what can we do? We didn't give them a driver's license. I know, like, but Everybody how, like, anyone can get a license. You just go to the DMV, yes, I want a license, I'm over 16, or whatever the rules are nowadays, and you just go get one, and you just get one, you just, oh, they passed the test, you think, I think it should be a little bit harder than just passing the test, like, oh. Yes, I agree, but, I mean, I wouldn't know, I never had to pass the actual test, <laughs> because too. I, you know, I was smart enough to know how to drive when I learned how to drive, yeah. but... I don't know. Some people nowadays, I think maybe just about people getting... What do you think about, hard? like, stereotypes? Like, because, like, do you think that there's just, like, a certain group of people that aren't great drivers? Well, there's a stereotype, but, I mean, if they do you think prove it to be are, true... Do you think it's true? Well, no. They're not true until you prove it to be true. And I think a lot of stereotypes, especially about people driving, especially about certain uh, ethnic groups or genders, I think the gender thing is more... Uh, more of a stereotype. More of a stereotype, and it's not a very true stereotype. So you think there's a lot of good women drivers? Yes, I'm a I very good woman driver. I think driver. you're a very good woman driver. You drive I mean, us, I drive everywhere. You drive everywhere, and I'm always bad, and I never had any complaints. So, I mean, and your mom's a great driver. My mom's a great driver. My mom is a pretty good driver. I mean, she... Rebecca Montalvo Reels is a pretty good driver, y'all. Yes. Um, shout out to the mom. But and I'm your mom. Saying, shout out to your mom, too, being but, a good driver. Yeah, but I'm just saying... Say your mom's name. Shout out to your mom. My mom, Seda Patel. Hi, Seda mom. Patel! She's probably good driver. not going to watch this because yeah. she doesn't do internet. But yeah. Any, she doesn't know what it is. The internet? <laughs> yeah. She knows she calls what it, the internet She calls it the line. It's on She's the like, line. She's like, I'm on the line. She's on the line. I'm sometimes. like, oh, you're on the line. Where is that? And she's like, I'm the computer. Anyways, <laughs> I'm like, awesome. So, um, but, I mean, traffic also depends on people's, like... Ability or inability to deal with, um, let's say, construction or obstacles in the road. Or, or reading or just seeing stuff. Like, oh, do you see? You see that light? It was red. Do you see that light? It was green. Like, or they get distracted by their phones because people don't know. How yeah, to put their well, phones no one down. should be on their phones. I like, agree. Tech that's why should be known. I that's think why those tickets that people yeah. get for having even having their phone out is a great thing because yeah. people need to know because. Yeah. It's unfortunate how 
things happen so quickly and because oh you couldn't wait to read a text message or you couldn't right. wait to answer the phone call or yeah. use a hands free device if you need to talk on the phone use a Bluetooth device, or a lot of the cars now are built in with Bluetooth, so you can just connect it to your car. You can listen to the person's beautiful voice <laughs> through the wonderful speakers in your car. Yeah. What if you have, like you said, though, a shitty car? Then don't pick up your phone. Then don't pick up your phone at all. <laughs> like, hello? Can you ha- hello? Can you, can you hear me? And he's like, huh? You know, what about those fucking people that they're like, oh, I can't hear you. Hello? And they're like, they oh, got like, the iPhone whatever's like, out. Like Rebecca Montalvo. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes. Mom, no offense, but sometimes my mom can't hear for nothing. That's well, she I, can't because yeah. she has a, a, she like, got a club <laughs> drum or something. Yeah. And something about, she doesn't want oh, to go no. to another doctor because she wants the same doctor uh-huh. who did her, her, Something in her ears, who knows how many but years nowadays, ago. But nowadays, you got to keep the same doctor because you you're depending on the HMO or the PPO or well, the, yeah. you don't know what or, insurance goes I where. Mean, if it's a doctor from 20 plus years ago, don't you want somebody who's a little newer and maybe knows what they're doing about certain things? Because do you really want the the uh, ready to retire or already retired doctor? Not saying that they're not <laughs> good at what they do, right. but I'm just saying. Right. So I heard, so we're big uh, Brewers fans, and uh, yeah, yeah, you got the moment. I do not, I should be wearing Brewers stuff, because I got a, a whole closet full of it, thanks to the Milwaukee Brewers. But anyway, um, yeah, so baseball's coming up, you excited, or? Um, or I'm what? excited to get back to Miller Park. Back to Miller Park. They're um, changing the name. Changing it to Am Fa- Am Fam- Family. Yeah, but not this year, it's not till next year. Whatever. That's when the licensing starts, and it's like so 10 it, years, I think, after. It's kind of weird, but yeah. It's still going to be Miller Park to me, even though it's kind of just like how when the Sears Tower got bought out by somebody in England, now it's yeah. the Sears Tower. It's still the Sears Tower. Or when they changed Kamins- Kamiski, Kamiski Park? Or Kam- is it Kaminsky or Kamiski? Kaminsky. Kaminsky. Yeah, yeah they, they had that. Growing up, it was always Kamiski, the White Sox uh, Stadium. So, I don't know. I'm always going to call it Kamiski or... It's gone through a few name yeah, changes. Yeah, a few name changes. I don't it even know. It was U.S. Cellular, yeah. and then now it's... A lot of people can't let stuff go like that. I guess we're part of that because it's like we're just going to call. Well, it's not that we can't let go of it. I mean, look, a building is a building. How are you going to rename a building Yeah. from the Sears Tower to Willis Tower? That doesn't make any sense. Buy it. That's fine. Keep the name, though. That doesn't make any sense why the name would change. Yeah. Same thing with a park or a, an arena. Yeah. I just I think it's kind of silly. And then speaking on Milwaukee, yesterday there was a big tragedy over there with the yeah, shooting I mean, at, I... at the... At the Molson uh, Brewery. I've never been there. I've never. I, I think we were gonna go for a tour one of those days when we were out there, but we didn't make it. We ended up going to the game and then hitting up the casino or something like that. Before. Yeah, but I don't know exactly what it's happened. Really I haven't really sad about what happened yeah. and uh, sad, super thoughts sad. are with the people affected. Thoughts and prayers. Um, but I, honestly, I don't know what it was that happened. And I, I don't, don't know really either. Followed up on it. I haven't really looked into details. I put a post on Milwaukee Brewers Nation and. Uh, hero and legend about it, but I I really don't know much. They really haven't talked about it either with all the Corona Contriota virus, oh, whatever's Corona going virus. on. Yeah, so we don't even know what that virus is. Yeah, either. no one's telling us anything. I don't know anything. Dark, but you know, it, we don't know anything. It's okay. Um, Just don't cough on me, bro. <laughs> cover your mouth when you cough. Cover your mouth. Wear oh my God! Speaking of that, that's like one of my biggest things at work, right? People don't cover their mouths when they cough. I'm like, they're like, <coughs> I'm like, really? Like, all in my space? Like, germs everywhere. Tony, like, there should be a polite There you go. The, something the, what is it called? The coronavirus? What is coronavirus? it called? Coronavirus? Yeah. Coronavirus, like the beer. Like the beer. That's virus. why everyone's like, don't drink corona, don't but drink it. How did it get its name? I have no idea. We should find out about how the coronavirus They probably had to blame like... the Mexicans or something. Well, it started in China. <laughs> why would they blame the Mexicans? I don't know. They blame the Mexicans for everything nowadays. Either Mexicans or Middle Easterns, and well, you pick your flavor. Pick your brown. <laughs> One of them did it. Yeah, that's crazy. But it's it is what it is. But uh, what else you got? Uh, I don't know. Uh, this weekend. Uh, what's going on this weekend? Today's Thursday. Uh, anything good coming out in the movies or no? This weekend, I don't think so. No. Uh, not well. I haven't really been keeping up with it. Let's just be honest. And you're gonna have oh well Friday you, you have a family get together. You're, you're getting a girls' night. Yeah. I've never so. had a girls' night before. This is gonna be weird. I don't, uh, I don't uh, think you've ever yeah. been out of the house without me. Yeah. So and me being in the house without you be, outside of work. Yeah, you'll be planning like a little shindig 
basically you'll be hosting. Oh, well, I love to host. Yeah. Hosting's my thing. Yeah. I think a lot of women love jam. to host. And a lot of dudes, too. A lot of dudes that are, like, really into, like, you know, throwing parties and stuff. I like hosting some things, like fight nights. There's, like, a big UFC fight on. Well, let's be honest. I'm doing the hosting. Yeah, but you're I'm just... just I'm just, doing, like, the eating just, and the drinking. So it's called... Just, I'm doing... Okay, you can do the hosting. The I'm doing... the face of the hosting. I'm the face of the hosting. So, like, I'm doing, like, the... Hi, how are you? Are you having a good time? Talking about the fights. So I think, yeah, you, you do do a lot of the... But the planning, the planning, but then I do a lot of the interacting. Well, that's what makes it fun. Yeah. The planning goes well, and then you mm -hmm. do what you gotta do. Right. I'm sorry, there's like a thing on the yeah. table. Yeah. Picking in it. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. Don't get distracted by the table. Um. Even though it's a beautiful marble, fifteen thousand dollar table. Not just kidding. Not fifteen thousand. Probably a thousand. But it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Uh, yeah. What else are we talking about? I don't know. I think I, I, I think uh, I think we can wind it down. This is pretty good for the first one. Our first podcast. Yeah. We don't even have a name for the podcast. Well, it's my, it's a it's a hero and legend and uh, it's a hero and legend on YouTube. So, oh, what's called the hero and legend? We don't even gotta call it. People know what it is when they see it. I mean, everyone's calling it a podcast. We just call it a conversation, y'all. What do you think about that? A conversation with Marco. We didn't even introduce ourselves. I'm Marco. Martinez, and this is Nazma Patel, soon to be Nazma Martinez. Show them the, you got the ring on? Show them the ring. Oh, damn, look at that ring right there. It cost me $10. Anyway, not really. But anyway, uh, come and check us out. Uh, we might be doing one of these every day. We're not sure. It might be longer. It might not be. I don't know. It just depends we're, on what we have to talk right. about. Right. And then, like, you know, we're doing it off the iPad. If anyone's wondering what kind of equipment it is, it's just the iPad. So, you know, that's what we're doing. And, uh... Pretty much, uh, hopefully we'll be talking to y'all every day, every other day, depending on the situation. If you guys have ideas, thoughts, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to shoot us a little message in YouTube. Uh, and yeah, I don't know, whatever. Subscribe. S subscribe, you know, Hero and Legend. Hero and Legend, and uh, we'll keep you up to date on these podcasts and with Milwaukee Brewers stuff and basically what's going on in our lives. I know people like to be tuned in. Tune in to us. Why not? And uh, today's a low energy type of day. I haven't had any kind of caffeine, so wait till I get that caffeine in me. It's going to be crazy up in here. You're going to be like, the dude can do impressions and all that. I could do anything, man, but not fucking matter, okay? All right, so say bye, Nas. Bye. We'll talk to you guys later, all right? Take it easy. Bye.